Shabbat Shalom. And welcome to PowerPoints. You know, I want to encourage you that uh, please send these PowerPoints uh, to whomever you feel led. And they're free to you and free to them. And God has blessed the ministry to be able to come in. Uh, it's exciting for us. Uh, we come in and, and we're blessed. You know, uh, Joy Hunt and I produce these. And uh, uh, we come in here at House of David. This is my desk. This is, this is where uh, we study. We meet with people. And this is where God uh, has chosen to put us, right here in the center, center part of the United States. And we're very blessed to bring you a word of the Lord from a very blessed open heaven here. And uh, we thank all of our partners that support us uh, in Kurt Landry Ministries, House of David, My Olive Tree. All of you are very important to us. And I just bless you and, and thank you for, for all that we do. And uh, because we couldn't do it without you. So God bless you. I want to start this uh, PowerPoint off, and we're still in Psalm 103. This is David's psalm when he was praying to the Lord for mercy. And uh, we're in uh, verse 6 now, and it says, The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. Um, I want to speak to you if you're being oppressed. Oppressed, uh, boy, it comes in a lot, of, a lot of ways. You can be oppressed mentally where actually nothing physically from the outside is coming, but you just feel under it. You can be being oppressed, maybe you're in a lawsuit. You can be oppressed, maybe uh, uh, the bank, you owe the bank money and they're, they, they don't call it oppression, but that's how it feels. They're calling you on the phone, you hate to pick it up because the oppression is coming. Uh, uh, you're waiting on a test from coming back from the doctor and uh, they said, well, when the lab work comes in, you know, you, that causes oppression because you're trying to get your mind off it, but you can't. But the word says here that the Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. So I want you to look at this a little differently through this PowerPoint. Anytime oppression comes, it is a time for you to be able to go to this song, this psalm and decree and declare, Father God, I am being oppressed. And Lord, I thank you that you will execute judgment for the righteous and you will cancel this assignment on me. In fact, the oppression is kind of like a light on the dashboard of my life saying it's time to push the Psalms 103 verse 6 and say the Lord executes righteousness. The Lord's righteousness. What is the Lord's righteousness? It's that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to go to the cross to die for you and I that cancels our iniquities so that we can remember all of his benefits. That's what this psalm is about. Lord, the blood removed anything that disqualified me from any oppression. Anything that's oppressing me, I, I am not qualified for it. You have no right to oppress me because I've been redeemed. And the word says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Oppression comes and will sit on you mentally and physically until it is instructed to leave because you can say, Lord, you execute judgment on it. You take it far from me. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. Father God, I just thank you for this time and that during this PowerPoint that I decree and declare everyone within the sound of my voice, every oppression, whether it be physical, mental, financial, relational, be gone now in the name of Yeshua. Lord, you execute justice for the righteous in Yeshua's name. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.